Greetings, YouTube. I have spent the last, oh, 24 hours or so in discussions with uh, different people on the Line app and other communication channels in preparation of this video. Because I have received, as I always do, with less than a month until July 4th, as today is June 7th, all sorts of questions about the best ways to become Cavalier, who, what champions you should take, and then of course the same questions for Uncollected, and I'll be answering those questions in different videos between now and July 4th. The nice thing about the July 4th holiday is that you don't have to spend money to enjoy deals. You just only get access to half of what Kabam traditionally offers. You'll have unit store deals that of course will make these piles of trash look even worse but then you'll also have unit only deals just assuming they do the same format they've done every year and that is um exciting for free to play players or players who feel like they want to boycott or don't have any money to boycott right uh you, you gotta have disposable income to not dispose of that income so with that being said uncollected players who are trying to push for cavalier between now and July 4th, have all the motivation in the world to want better offers. And if you're Kabam, you should want those players to reach Cavalier status. You should be promoting that heavily because you're going to make more money if they can buy the Cavalier offers versus the uncollected offers, and you're also going to get them more excited about your game, which is going to result in them wanting to continue to play it after July 4th. So with all of that being said, it is truly amazing that when you go to the hotel... Modoc store currently only if you're a Cavalier player do you scroll and see two things one you see this five star signature stone that's generic for 16 coins and if you want to just have a reference to what that is 16 coins for a five star signature stone when you scroll up and you say uh, want to talk about four star hero crystal shards you can get two generic five-star signature stones for the same price as 500 four-star uh, crystal shards. That's crazy. But the craziest thing, by far, is what uncollected players are being screwed out of right now and the whole purpose of this video. It's 40 coins for 500 four-star signature uh Signature four star shards in general. I almost said four, four star signature stones, which would have made absolutely no sense. But guess what? It's only 20 coins for a thousand five star shards. It's half as much for Cavalier players for a thousand five star shards as it is for everybody else to spend 500 four star hero crystal shards. And it's limiting 15 instead of limiting four which I guess the whole goal of that is just to get players a fully formed four-star crystal since 2,000 four-star shards is the definition of a four-star crystal. It is literally idiotic for Kabam's marketing team to limit the five-star shard purchase and for that matter, the five-star signature stones to only people who have reached Cavalier status and who by definition already used champions that were five stars and six stars to become Cavalier. The frustration I'm hearing right now is prof, I'm uncollected and most of my five stars suck or they're at SIG one because I targeted such and such champ that I know needs to be a high SIG, like say Omega Red or even Void or Namor, etc. And I don't have signature stones and I can't purchase them in this really frustratingly difficult, epic difficulty level of the June event. These players know that if they had the same access to the Hotel Modoc store that Cavalier players have, they could, by the end of the event, do the equivalent of duping that five-star champ because you could have 20 SIGs since the purchase limit is 20. And also, maybe, just maybe, they could actually dupe that champ in the old-fashioned way because, of course, 15 purchase limits allows you 15,000 five-star shards, which is the same price as one-and-a-half basics or one featured five star either way what kabam should do is give both of these offers to uncollected players and then if you're cavalier what do most people who are cavalier care about at this point 
It's not five stars. That's why the incursion crystals, I've been told already today from several people that I respect who say, Prof, uh, I'm glad you, you graded them for the people who play it. I think playing it would be kind of fun, but I don't care about five star shards at all. If they're not going to give six star signature stones or six star shards, I'm not doing it. And so there are none of those things currently for any progression level in the Hotel Modoc store. So when it comes to six star champions, I'm not saying it has to be a crazy amount. Maybe you do a purchase limit of 10 and it equals out after the 10, a thousand six star shards for at least 10%. And maybe you get five uh, six star signature stone crystals out of it. It doesn't have to break the quote unquote economy of the game, but that can be something that communicates to Cavalier members, what your offers often do, right? These are five star deals, literally five star shards and Grandmaster Featured Crystals, where the best champion you can get is a uh, five-star. This is targeted for those of you traditionally who are uncollected. This, with the six-star shards and the chance to get a six-star equivalent, be it only 1.5% drop rate, is for Cavalier. So they continue to communicate this message. Six stars, Cavalier, five stars, uncollected. But that message is not uh, communicated at all in the Hotel Modoc store. So there is a way to make the uncollected players happy while still giving the Cavalier players something extra. And it can just be similar to what was already discussed in these kind of offers where you get six-star signature stone crystals. And like I said, maybe it could be five or ten. It doesn't have to be 20. I get that they're trying to make them super rare. And then when it comes to the five-star shards, to the right of it, List six star hero crystal shards, and maybe they're in batches of 100 or 200, and limit five or 10. But either way, make those just Cavalier exclusive. But they're shooting themselves in the foot as a company by telling uncollected players, hey, between now and July 4th, I want you to become Cavalier, but I'm not going to help you get more five star shards in this monthly event or even five star signature stones. It makes zero sense. And again, it's to their detriment as a company because the more that these players progress, the more money they're going to want to spend on July 4th. So make the Cavalier have some access to six star something and give the uncollected players the desperately needed more five star shards and five star signature stone chance. You'll be thankful you did Kabam. And guess what? You'll be repaid tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold in less than a month.